What's up guys? Welcome back to the second part of my gunfight tips and tricks series. In the first video, I covered some general advice and some specific gunfight strategies. Now, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be diving into the maps one by one. I'm going to be covering a little bit of basics, you know, the rush routes, the spawn peaks, etc. But I definitely want to jump in more of the specific stuff that some people might not know about. Some nice angles, lines of sights, um, routes that you might not have thought about before. We're going to be kicking things off with the first map, which is Ali. Ali was introduced in Modern Warfare 2, obviously, but they brought it back in this game as well. So yeah, let's jump in. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so we're on Alley. As you can see on the tag map, Alley is one of the gunfight maps that is actually perfectly symmetrical. And there's basically four major routes that people push on Alley. You can go mid, you can go water tank, you can go underneath, or you can use the wide swing and cross the bridge. Going mid, um, a couple tips right here. Uh, I'm actually surprised at how many people still just challenge it this way, like the old fashioned way, no cover. I'm gonna be honest, it's obviously really inefficient. You're completely exposed with no cover. So what I recommend instead is just angling this corner right here because then you have the barrel or you can jump on top of these boxes and kind of angle this carpet stack. Those two ways are a lot better. You have a lot more cover and it's harder to see you. Following up on this then, let's say you get a kill right here or actually no one is peeking mid. What I usually try to do is get on top of this rooftop as quickly as possible because obviously Ali, the rooftops are major power positions. As you can see, you just have complete map control. Uh, there's very little blind spots here and you can just out angle everyone on this rooftop. So getting on top of this then, obviously we're gonna have to use the ladder, but there's actually two major problems with taking the ladder the old fashioned way. I'm gonna climb it right now and think about what the two problems are. Okay, so first of all, I hope you guys noticed that it's excruciatingly slow to just climb it all the way bottom to top. And secondly, you actually produce a distinct climbing sound when you go from bottom to top. Listen closely. That sound is something that people with even the most cheap ass McDonald's headsets will hear. So they will hear you coming and if they're on top here or they're inside this building, they will know you're on top and they just already know where you are. So the way to get around it then, get on top quicker and quieter is actually by jumping on top of this barrel first and then just jumping on top of the ladder like this. It's a lot quicker and as you'll notice, you don't produce any climbing sound. As mentioned then, a lot of people tend to push water tank as well. Me personally, I never really do it because in my experience, it's really easy to get stuck here. I mean, you still can get some picks on people like in spawn or in their water tank, maybe crossing, whatever. But um, again, if someone crosses and you can get the kill and they get on top here, it's really easy to get stuck here because as soon as you try to make a move out of there, they just pick you off really easily. So personally for me, I never really do it, but just keep it in mind. A lot of people tend to push water tank, so just keep this side in mind. A lot of people tend to be here. Going underneath then is something I don't really do that often. Um, it can work as like an oddball play uh, because people might not expect it. And if you can make it all the way into their spawn without them noticing you, you'll usually get a free round because they will have their backs on you. One good thing about this route though is uh, if you lay down right here, you can actually see the cross from under the bridge. If you move this way and check the cross on this little platform like I usually do, in some situations your opponent is just an absolute demon and he just completely lasers you every single time, then it can actually work work to just go underneath and actually lay down right here and uh, yeah this is a really good oddball peek to get some damage on him or even a kill and he will most likely not expect that and then lastly obviously the rush route straight here on top um this is something that i would say 90 percent of alley players do is just go straight on top of this rooftop so let's say you want to get on top of this rooftop but you're a little late to it and you already know the opposition is going to be on top of that one what i usually avoid then is going straight on top because right here this double mantle um, it just takes a lot of time, especially with the slower gunfight loadouts, which leaves you exposed to people already on top of that one, and you just get absolutely lasered. What I recommend instead is actually jumping on top of this little platform, and as you can see right here, you have this little plant pot. If you jump on top of this, you actually have a pretty good view of the opposite rooftop. And um, I can't really show you right now, but even if they're laying down, you can actually still see their upper back and head sticking out. So you can get some damage or even a kill. And uh, this is a really good line of sight. On the opposite side, it's actually an upside down shopping cart. So on this side, it's an upside down shopping cart. And again, if you jump on top of it, you have a pretty good view of the rooftop and it's a more advantageous position to uh, challenge this angle from. Angle is low key insane. Talking about these buildings then, um, I rarely go inside them because it's pretty easy to get stuck in there. Um, but 
it is rat spot number one. If you're playing campy opponents, uh, a lot of people will tend to go like inside this building, kind of just lay down behind this counter and wait for other people to push. Uh, it's a really annoying strategy because it actually works. It's really hard to get people to move out of this space unless you have damage on them and they have to cap. But if you're impatient like me, there's a couple other things you can try. Uh, first of all, obviously, drill chargers, frag grenades. You can get them inside here any way you want and you can get some damage on them. A door play is also a valid strategy. What I tend to do if these doors are closed is actually just bust them open but not run inside like this. What happens then is they usually start frantically shooting but... If no one actually enters, that'll give you like one or two seconds of confusion where they stop shooting and that can be the moment where you just rush back in and get the kill. Another way to go ahead and deal with these people is wallbang these doors. If these doors are closed but you know that they're behind the counter, you can just start blasting through them, get some damage, maybe even the kill, uh, and that's also a valid way to go about it. And then lastly, an angle you guys might not know about is actually climbing on top of this billboard right here and then laying down. You actually have a pretty good view of uh, inside behind the counter so if they're in that corner you can just kind of hold them from here uh this is one of those oddball angles that people might not be uh, expecting a couple more spots then where people tend to hang out are these back huts right here i don't really know why people tend to sit here because the angles you can hold are pretty bad but people still do it and if you're playing a campy round of alley and people tend to hide make sure to check these little uh back corners because people might be hiding here Another popular angle is on top of these carpets right here. Uh, people tend to sit on this angle a lot to pick off people going on top. It's a pretty bad angle, honestly, because you're at a disadvantage. People on the rooftops have elevation on you, but still people tend to sit here a lot. So this is actually one of the angles that I check first if I get on top of the rooftops. And then lastly, the flag spawns right in the middle of the bridge right here. Um, if you're down on HP, 99% of the time people are just going to be ratting on top of these buildings and waiting for you to cap. On alley what I tend to do is just quickly run through the flag and then bust through these doors. They will usually just jump down and try to challenge you but if you're inside here you might have the advantage on an angle or something. A flag play on alley is really good to do. <laughs> nice battle. Another nice strat on alley, which actually works, is getting on the side of the bridge like this. And if you hang right here, you actually cap the flag as well. So if you know they're on that rooftop and just hang right here, it might give you like an extra second or two where they're searching for you. So it's definitely worth a shot to try. All right, so I think that's going to do it for Ali. I kind of want to keep it short, sweet, and simple. I hope you guys at least learned something new. Obviously, gunfight, like any other game mode, just takes a little bit of experience. The best way to get to know these maps is just to play them. That way, you'll quickly discover which angles people tend to hold, which routes people tend to push. But I hope I showed you guys a couple things that you might have not known. Anyways, next up is going to be Blacksite. I hope to see you guys over there. I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next one.